Welcome to 5 Minute School. Today's video will be talking about hypertrophy. So this is where we have an increase in the volume of a tissue or organ and that's going to happen because of an increase in the volume of the cells which make up that tissue or organ. So the diagram on the right shows you the structure of normal cells and in the case of hypertrophy we can see that the cells have much larger volumes in comparison to the normal cells. So that is the definition of hypertrophy. We can classify it in four different ways. We have physiological, pathological, pseudo-hypertrophy and vicarious hypertrophy. So physiological hypertrophy is an adaptive mechanism by the body so the cells increase in volume to help compensate for something but it is a natural occurrence. It does also have its limitations because as the hypertrophy progresses or as the cells keep increasing in volume eventually they won't be able to compensate for the amount of work they're being put under and that's because there won't be enough oxygen and nutrients reaching the cells as it gets bigger and bigger and an example of this case of physiological hypertrophy is the hormone induced growth of the uterus during pregnancy and that's also an example of hyperplasia which I've also made a video about so the next one is pathological hypertrophy and this is where some form of disease or pathological stimulus is what causes the cells to increase in volume and that results in uh, the enlargement of the organ or tissue. An example can be ventricular hypertrophy due to stimulus from hypertension or high blood pressure, um, some kind of valve disease in the heart or a heart attack or myocardial infarction. So you can see from this diagram on the right, this is some form of cardiomyopathy and you can see the uh, walls of the heart or the myocardium has increased in thickness. The next thing we're going to talk about is pseudohypertrophy, which is a false form of hypertrophy. So this is where the organ or tissue is enlarged, but it isn't because of increase in volume of the subsequent cells. An example can be muscular dystrophy, where the muscles do become swollen, but this is because of deposits of fat and fibrous tissue and not because of increase in cell volume. You can see from the diagram on the left, the black regions in the picture show the muscular tissue. So... Uh, this is the healthy case and this is where the individual has been affected by muscular dystrophy. So you can see that even though the muscle tissues stay the same size, there's more deposits of uh, fat on this side. Overall, the cells remain the same size. Vicarious hypertrophy is enlargement of an organ after failure of another organ because of their functional relationship. And a perfect example for this is enlargement of the pituitary gland after destruction of the thyroid.